The answer is actually both. I think you want to take a belt and suspenders approach. And the reason is you don't know what you don't know. So if there's a program your organization has applied to historically or has been interested in, maybe funded in a couple of times, yeah, you know about that program. You want to subscribe to all the updates on that program or perhaps even entire funding initiative from a certain agency. But because grants.gov is a dynamic site and every day there are literally dozens of completely new opportunities, including some where it's hiding in plain sight, you want to go to grants.gov all the time and search. Update your search, refresh your search, be there and explore it live. I think that's a matter of personal preference, but because I find the keywords somewhat clumsy, unless I'm looking for something that's very, very specific, then I prefer to use the other kinds of delimitation. I'm, I'm going to look for a certain type of organization, say a 501c3 or 501c6, and I want to look at a certain agency, say the Department of Commerce. I prefer limiting my search that way because then I get a pretty good sized bucket of results, but they're still focused. But on the other hand, if I know that this is a unique program and there's a keyword that's not a common word, I might just use that keyword to try to jump, skip, and hop right to the end. Mm -hmm.